Hi guys, today's case is going to be on the unsettling disappearance of a Lauren Elizabeth Pre. Thank you to this subscriber, Samantha Rainey, for suggesting this case. And if you have any case suggestions you'd like me to consider, you can email them to me at mysterymuse23 at gmail.com. Or you can DM me on the Mystery Muse Instagram page at mysterymuse23. Please include the case suggestion in the subject line and the type of case you'd like me to consider. For example, Missing Persons, Forensic Friday, or Unsolved Mysteries. Please include as much information about the case as possible. I know some of you have already left me case suggestions in the comments, and I'm working my way through those now. Please be patient as the comment section can be a little bit overwhelming for me. Please keep in mind that although I do research every case, my resources are limited to public knowledge. I am a storyteller, not a private investigator. Today's video is going to be a rather short one because there is not a lot of information about Lauren's case out there. However, I feel that these types of cases are the ones that need the most help and coverage. Lauren Elizabeth Pre was a beautiful 28-year-old mother of two from West Frankfort, Illinois when she went missing on September 20th, 2018. According to thecharlieproject.org, a website that hosts missing persons cases, Lauren was last seen leaving her residence in the 800th block of West St. Louis Street in West Frankfort, Illinois. She had been on Facebook Live earlier asking for a ride to Mont Vernon, Illinois. She was wearing a gray sweatshirt, black leggings, and gray shoes, carrying a black Michael Kors purse with gold studs on the lower half of it. Allegedly, Lauren struggled with drug addiction and was in between places homeless at the time. According to a Reddit user, Sunday Toppings, Lauren's case was getting very little attention because she had addiction issues and lived a high-risk lifestyle. Unfortunately, sometimes L.E. doesn't give as much attention to cases like hers. In addition, she moved around a lot, so it wasn't even really noticed until weeks later that she was actually missing. In addition, based on comments from her friends and family, she had several ex-boyfriends that had a history of domestic violence and also were drug dealers. She has little twin daughters that everyone says she adored so it's unlikely that she is voluntarily missing. I wonder if she was in the wrong place at the wrong time or saw something she shouldn't have and someone disappeared her. Or she is exactly the type to be vulnerable to sex trafficking, especially the two little girls to hold over her head. I think it's very possible she has been trafficked. A side note, there is apparently a woman in the area who looks very much like Lauren including the tattoos and especially a tattoo above one of their eyes above the eyebrow that are almost the same. People had been reporting sightings of Lauren, but it wasn't actually Lauren. It was this other woman, which might be part of the reason Ellie wasn't taking her disappearance seriously because of the sightings. The woman actually even commented on social media that she has been mistaken for Lauren in the past and also was able to clear up that some of the sightings were indeed her and not Lauren. Reddit user Little Anomaly had this to say, Former localish person here. Addiction, high-risk lifestyle, moving around a lot, that's very, very common there. So much that it's probably not a distinguishing feature for missing persons cases in the area. MTV is certainly not free of prostitution or hitchhikers. And who knows what an addict will do to get that next hit. It has access to multiple highways and interstates and gets a lot of traffic from out of town. Small town life is when the highlight of your week is the trip to the super Walmart in the slightly bigger small town. My bets are OD'd somewhere and just hasn't been found yet or hitched hike a ride and met her fate somewhere else. If there's someone else involved, it's likely a friend or someone just passing through. They did have that woman who supposedly got on a train in Central Lea, but ended up in her friend's fire pit a few years ago. West Frankfurt Police Chief John Prudent said police pinged Pree's phone to Mount Vernon and believe that's where she was last seen. However, that's where their investigation seemed to stop. 
I was able to pull up Lauren's Instagram account, but it's set to private, so I sent a friend request. I was unable to find her on Facebook, although we know she had an account she used as a source of communication. So where's her Facebook? If any of you know of her Facebook, please leave it in the comments below so that I can take a look at it. While I was searching images of Lauren, I came across this one. It was linked to a blog post in French. It appears to be owned by a French man named Chez Fred Camino. He posted this picture in May of 2017 of a woman resembling Lauren modeling Boudoir. Her back is turned to the camera so you can only get a side profile of her face. She has pink hair, which Lauren was known to dye her hair in different colors. In fact, there's a photo of her with lighter pink hair as though it had faded out. This would be consistent with Lauren's hair care routine. There is a banner on the page with a picture of what appears to be two men, but one of the men's faces is covered. The profile picture is of a cartoon character and the page description reads, Gooly Gooly, pin up, bike and beers. There are numerous photos of other pinup models on his page as well. Overall, it doesn't seem to be anything suspicious here. It seems to be just some guy who enjoys bike riding, beers, and pinup models. The caption on the post read, pink with the American Lauren Pre to end this historic day, with a link to the photographer's page. It took me to Jim Smothers Photography, from Mount Vernon, Illinois, the same town where Lauren Pree was asking for a ride to right before her disappearance, and the last place her cell phone was pinged. There are very few posts on the page, seven to be exact, dating back to August 29, 2019, and as recent as December 23, 2021. This strikes me as rather odd for a professional photography page because where are all the pictures of the models? As a photographer, you need to constantly post your work to get more work. And only three out of the seven posts are actual pictures, and they're of old cars. The other four posts are some very cryptic messages. The messages read, Art is the loudest silence. Scream quietly. Art is not always about pretty things. It's about who we are and what happened to us and how our lives are affected. If you ever switched up on me, stay on that side. There is a charm about the forbidden that makes it unspeakably desirable. I don't know about you guys, but my weirdo meter is going off. I was able to find the company Gem Smothers Photography on Instagram, but its profile was set to private which again is weird for a business photography page. Isn't that the point? Now, while I was researching Lauren's case, another missing person's case kept popping up. And you wanna know the bizarre thing? This missing person's name was also Lauren. Lauren Spirier, an IU college student from Bloomington, Indiana, who went missing in 2011, seven years before Lauren. Now, you guys know my hometown is Illinois, so you know I know that area. Indiana is about a three-hour drive from Illinois. Could these two cases be linked? To find out, I'm going to cover Lauren Spierrier's case in next week's episode, so make sure you're subscribed. Now, although Lauren did not have a squeaky clean lifestyle, her friends and family members are adamant that she would never leave her twin daughters and that someone knows what happened to her. Lauren Elizabeth Spree would be 32 years old. She is a white female, five foot five inches tall, weighing 125 pounds. She has blue eyes and black hair. She is known to dye her hair bright colors, so her hair color could be different. On the day of her disappearance, she was wearing a gray sweatshirt, black leggings with gray shoes, and a black Michael Kors bag with gold studs on the lower bottom half of it. Lauren has multiple tattoos and piercings, including a hair's lows over her left eye. She has a crown behind her ear. She has a giant flower tattoo on the side of her head and both arms. 
and upper lip are pierced and she has a nose piercing. If anyone out there has any information about Lauren Pree's disappearance, please call the West Frankfurt Police Department at 618-937-3502. That's 618-937-3502. So, who is Jim Smothers Photography from Mount Vernon, Illinois? And where is Lauren Elizabeth Pree? What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you like videos like these, you can check out my last episode. I'll leave a link on the screen right here. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please share because it really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next week with another case. Bye.